We all have DNA in the cells of our body. Your DNA is what makes you look like you. When you look at your best friend, I'm sure that you'll see some differences and probably some similarities as well. DNA can tell your hair color or your hair to be curly or straight. It will also cause you to have dimples or no dimples. Other differences you can see will be whether you have freckles or not, and even the color of your eyes. Some differences caused by DNA will not be seen. DNA can cause differences in how you taste. Some people can taste bitter flavors while others cannot. It can also uh, tell you to be left-handed or right-handed, and kind of an odd one, whether you typically cross your fingers over with your left or right thumb at home. Try this one at home if you're not sure. DNA will allow your body to have the ability to digest lactose and milk or not. You've probably heard of someone having lactose intolerance. This is caused by their DNA. Think about your best friend and some of the different traits you each have and maybe some of the ones that you have in common. With all these differences and similarities, how much DNA do you think you share with your best friend? I'll give you some options. Do you think it's 1%? 12.1%, 52%, or 99.9%. No cheating. If you guess 99.9%, you're correct. Even though you and your best friend have differences, only a very small amount of DNA causes these differences. Let's try to imagine this. If we think back to our DNA, how our DNA is like a recipe, Let's imagine that you and your best friend decide to make yourselves a thousand chocolate chip cookies each. Ah, fairly reasonable number. You plan to use the same recipe for each cookie, so all cookies are the same. You get done baking 999 of them, and you decide maybe you want to, maybe you have enough chocolate chip cookies, and both of you want to make a different type of cookie for the last cookie. Let's say you decide to make yourself a peanut butter cookie, but your friend says, hmm, I'm going to make myself a sugar cookie. You get done baking all of these cookies, and each of you have a pile of 999 identical chocolate chip cookies. But on top of that pile, you have a peanut butter cookie, and your best friend has a sugar cookie. Even though the piles of cookies have 999 of the same cookies, that last one cookie in all 1,000 cookies is the same amount of DNA that causes the differences between you and your best friend. It's pretty incredible how such small differences in DNA can make us look also different. Thank you for watching this episode of Genomics 101 at Home. Keep an eye out for future episodes to learn more about DNA and the science of genomics.